group. I don't wish to come across rude or anything like that, but do you tend, intend to buy something or do you in fact wish to stand there the whole time and just continue to stare at me? Hello there. Anybody in... There we go. We got through eventually. Welcome to my bakery. Here we bake the finest loaves of white and brown goods that, of course, you can take home and make the perfect sandwich. So are you familiar with loaves of bread? You're not. Well, surely you've come to the bakers, the bakery here before. Um, I'm sorry, are you an outsider or something? Well, you seem to have little knowledge about the bakery here. And this bakery is graced quite often by Lord Farquhar. Yeah, so it's kind of a big deal around this area, okay? And it's been going for I don't know how many years, hundreds of years. Okay, people have been coming in, upper class people, of course, you know what I mean, good. And they come in looking for a perfect loaf. Well, there's all sorts of loaves of bread. You've got your, take this one, for example, your farmhouse white. Or perhaps you'd like a farmhouse brown or something like that. Perhaps you want to be a little bit, bit more continental and have a French stick. Or perhaps you're looking for a tiger bread. We've got all sorts of small buns, seeds and seedless, anything you wish to have in a loaf of bread. It gets made here in this bakery. So we don't wish to have any amateur buyers in here who doesn't know anything about bread, okay? Well, no offense, but um, you don't look like the person who shops artisan and local. You're probably a, a little bit of the, the chain supermarket type of person. Well, we don't have any of those in this area. Here, we preserve the, the fine arts and of crafts and, and local businesses in here. And of course, we serve it to upper class individuals, people Probably not like yourself. Yeah. yeah. How much have you got on you? <laughs> well, you should have said so to begin with. Oh, that's so great to hear. Now, welcome to this bakery. How might I help you? <laughs> well, it's always a pleasure to serve someone with like-minded intentions okay that is a really good and i see that you're probably a person of good taste hence why you're in this bakery yeah well i am the baker they call me henry charles reginald iii and i've been the baker here for hundreds of years and we welcome customers such as yourself and new customers such as yourself to the bakery and because you are now a valued customer of mine. I'd like to offer you a tasting session of all this bread purely because I feel like that you haven't really been introduced to the perfect loaf of bread. Oh no, no, no. Bread is more than just a loaf of bread. Breads are crunchy, they're relaxing. You can make all sorts of things with them. They're fulfilling and they make you feel great. I've got a bread for every occasion here for you, so if you're looking for something in particular, then you've come to the right place. Well, how about that we get you started off with perhaps tasting this farmhouse loaf. Now, this is come straight out from the oven literally 10 minutes ago, so it's a little bit warm still, which, in my personal opinion, means the bread tastes even better. So a farmhouse loaf of bread, a white farmhouse, such as this one, it has a, quite a nice crust to it. On the top there, it's soft at the bottom. Okay. It 
it's a nice fluffy loaf of bread. It's a, it's really nice. And also, you can always tell if it's a really nice loaf of bread if it sounds nice. And it sounds great. And then finally, the final flourish for this farmhouse loaf of bread would be some nice local flour and we just place that on top of the farmhouse and you create a perfect shape here this really is one of our most popular breads here in particular areas like this because you know everybody is quite an upper class so they will have their land rover defenders you know they'll have their labrador dogs and their wooden walking sticks you know for hiking and, and looking posh uh, so they all tend to go for a lovely loaf of bread such as this which I think might interest you well I'm going to give you a little taster then and uh, if this is something you'd like then I'll get you a fresh one excellent so let me take my knife here now have a good listen to this cross because it's all about the cutting of it and white and delicious looking and ready to have butter spread on it or turned into a nice sandwich perhaps with lettuce or something a little bit crunchy to complement this fine piece of farmhouse white okay well so i happen to have a plate here for you so would you like to have a little try there okay there we go and how's that there for you you could almost smell the Land Rover Defender when you open the door when you eat that piece of bread. Yeah, it really does make you feel very important and, uh, of course, upper class. Okay, so that's one of our favorites here. Okay, so I'm just going to place this on the side here. And how's that there for you? Tasting absolutely delicious. I thought it would be. I could see that you really enjoyed that loaf of bread, but don't worry. I've got something else here which you might like. So this is one of our fine loaves of bread. This is what we call a well-fired bread. This loaf of bread, it's done in this round shape. If you wish to have something a little bit more artisan, you know, a little bit more fancy. And a lot of our, of course, upper class customers such as yourself come in and, and sort after something like this purely because it makes them feel highly important and, you know, gives them that little bit extra when they want to have lunch or something delicious like that. Okay, so if you have a good look here, it's because it's well fired, it's a little bit harder at the top. It has a really nice color of brown at the top. It looks so lovely. And have a good listen. Have a nice 
a creepy look in there. It's like the farmhouse white, same fluffy nature inside, but with this slightly extra more crisp up top and it has a really nice flavor to it so if i just take your plate there i'll place it on the top there for you would that be okay uh, if you would like some butter or something like that feel free to take some just over there okay and spread it on there for you just if you wish to heighten uh, the taste a little bit to complement your bread how's that one there for you mm. perfection well this is a highly sought after loaf of bread and of course it does come at quite the hefty price so a bread like this because it's highly artisan it is uh, within the region of 200 250 only because uh, we have a high demand for this particular loaf of bread and of course you know it's the sort of thing that people in this area like to have okay it's a good fine bread and how's that one there for you great have a good listen to this one This is a particularly lovely loaf of bread, so it has poppy seeds on there, and of course your favourite seeds there too. And this has been slightly glazed on top with a slightly hardened top, but nothing hard at what we've had previous, and a really soft bottom, which of course has the, the same bacon grill pattern as perhaps a French stick or something like that. And it sounds tremendously tasty. So would you like to have a bite of that? Good. Well, I am trying to give you generous amounts, so we're going to get you in the mood for buying an exceptionally large quantity of loaves of bread, okay, and exceptionally expensive prices. I hope that's okay with you. Now, I thought it would be, well, I'm sure someone such as yourself, who clearly is not short of pocket, yeah, is uh, certainly looking for an uh, exceptional loaf of bread, yeah. Well, you know what they say about bakeries, when you go to the bakery, no expense is spared, quite literally, and it is expensive, so you spare all of your expense at the bakery for the baker for the, you know, the expensive bread, of course. Okay. How about a nice little slice here for you? Excellent. Well, you're going to like this one particularly, I think, if you've liked the other two. Okay, so we'll just get, take the corner off there. your slice on there okay the seeded bloomer and i hope it's something that you enjoy so i'll just place it here like i said feel free to help yourself to bottom just over there enjoy it let me know what you think of that one okay a classy loaf of bread people who would go for something like this exceptionally expensive of course are people who of course are highly important highly regarded in an area like this yeah now, if you walked out with a loaf of bread as expensive as this or the other loaves of bread i'm sure people will be turning heads and looking at you thinking you really are a great piece of work. I'm sure that would be the case. Well, I do have another 
one here. Hot off the press. This is a delicious Coburg handcrafted loaf of bread. This really is a spectacularly tasty loaf, which I think you're going to love so much. A bread is more than just a piece of bread that you'd slice up and just make a quick sandwich with. It's something which has been handcrafted to entice and relax and just make you feel amazing. And I try to bring that point across here at this bakery purely to make all one of my customers spend that little bit extra more money, of course, but mainly to make sure that they know that this really is an artisan shop where customers can know that the highly skilled baker here is creating masterpieces. So this is a really nice shape and of course highly sought after for very important upper class individuals who, you know, sport the Land Rovers and also with their walking sticks, like I said, and with their dogs, but also Wellingtons, okay, they walk around their boots. Yeah, well, I notice you haven't got them on, but you've probably left them at home, haven't you? Yeah, and of course your wax jacket, it probably left it in your defender, I see, yeah. No, I shouldn't worry about that. Okay, let me just talk about it. Right, so this loaf of bread is in a circular shape here, and it's got a cross in the middle where it has risen in the oven. So this is quite a hard top. But it has a really soft underbelly there. And think of this as when you have a small white loaf, a small bun, and you have that texture on top where it's a little bit crusty on top. This has that, but the crust doesn't fall off because it's all been nicely glazed on top. Then, to finish it off, a nice sprinkling of flour on top. All in all makes this perfect loaf of bread, which you are going to love so much. Would you like to have a taste of this one as well? today okay and hopefully we can collect up to about 500 pounds worth of uh, four loaves of bread so something which if you felt like being a little bit continental then perhaps this multi-seed pattern loaf here formerly known as uh, of course or more popularly known as a, a dwarf french stick and this is a whole meal and it has a lovely color in the middle it's not too brown but it's just right and in the middle and perfect it's been perfectly baked as you can hear it's got a nice top to it and it's sprinkled with multi seeds in there along with inside as well so this really is a delicious artisan loaf of bread here and if you have a loaf of bread such as this one people would think you would be very very cultured i assure you would you like to have a, uh, a taste of it excellent
do try that let me know what you think there so as you taste that one you can really taste the seeds in there it really has quite a nice taste and it complements the bread so much it's really soft inside with that nice hard crust it's not too thick it just really is a perfect balance of bread and crust well that's so great i'm, I'm really glad that you that's a tasty one there for you would that be a contender there for you good it is very expensive of course but i'm sure that wouldn't be a problem for a person such as yourself indeed good i'm pleased to hear it servants could heat it up you then even better even better okay so this is a giraffe bloomer it's the same shape it's quite a large loaf of bread but it has a very unwieldy crust on the top there a lovely pattern down there if this was presented on your table with all your guests or whatever then i'm sure they'd be very impressed with this loaf and it has a perfect color to it i mean look at it it's been baked to perfection. So, have a listen. And it's got textured bottom where it's been baked there as well. Would you like a taste of this one? certainly have got the taste for bread today particularly white bread of course bakers and all artisans and people who know everything about bread and upper class individuals know that white bread is exceptionally good for you which means that you should probably buy when you can large quantities of white bread to really make sure that your your larder is completely full for your servant to 
make your all of the sandwiches and things that you wish and making sure you're fully stocked up for every occasion is of the utmost importance when you are of course living in an area like this so i'd like to personally thank you for visiting my bakery here and just like to say what a pleasure it is to serve someone who clearly is in high position such as yourself so i assume that uh, money isn't an issue for you here ah perfect so i expect you you would probably want uh, quite a few loaves of bread i mean sure you get what you pay for when it comes to bread and artisan bread and you'll uh, perhaps let me get them for you so we'll get them at the farmhouse here for you as well so here we go the loaves of bread which we've tried so the farmhouse that's about 300 because of its traditional nature it's a very expensive loaf of bread but look it's worth every single penny and then of course our baton here multi-seed baton it's a wholemeal brownie loaf it's a continental and of course very special so you're looking at about 150 for this loaf of bread for this lovely giraffe uh, bloomer we have here you're looking for the size as well about 200 pounds for this because of the nature to get that perfect top there as well okay so then we go down to the smaller seeded bloomer you're looking about 125 for this particular one but it's really soft inside and just quite right for our kubo because it's you know highly sought after and exceptionally pretentious then you're looking around about 250 for this loaf here and then for our well-fired loaf in the shape of a goberg again you're looking around that sort of price and because it's well done probably about the most expensive about 270 for that one there so if you would like them all i would highly recommend that you get them as a set probably because you never actually eat them all but if you have any guests you could never be quite sure if anyone would pop over and you want to make sure you've got the very best of breads to give the very best of impressions that's so great to hear one of each perfect i knew that i liked you excellent well let me get you some fresh ones out of the oven and get it all wrapped up for you that's great and before i do that i'd just like to thank you so much for stopping by at my bakery today it really was a pleasure to see you thank you so much take care so cheerio